Hello? Hi, Harry. Seth Davis over at JT Marlin. How are you doing this morning? Fine, thanks. Uh, you got a call from an associate broker of mine last month, and I just wanted to know if you enjoyed the information we sent you. Uh, what information? Yeah, well, if you get as much mail as I do, you probably brushed it aside. But more importantly, we made a commitment to get back to you. Listen, I'm presenting you with an investment opportunity that I think you're going to find very interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really in the market for that right now. Tell me, Harry, are you married or are you happy? <laughs> uh... Actually, I've been married for 10 years. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, six years for me. So, uh, uh, listen, are you playing the market at all? Uh, well, I don't, have, I don't know about playing. Um, I do own some blue chips. They, they were actually uh, wedding gifts from our friends in New York. Well, listen, Harry, we have an explosive situation going on right now. A pharmaceutical company, Barotech, has a drug called Paritin in the third stage of FDA approval. What to do? That's a good question. That's a very good question, and this is the best part. It helps premature babies develop properly. That sounds like a good drug. It is. It is. So tell me, those blue chips you own, what have they done for you since you got married? Not that much, really. Well, you see, we deal in stocks that really move. Oh, yeah. They really move. I'd love to show you what I mean, and I can do so on a relatively small investment. Look, I, I really can't buy anything right now. My, my wife and I are getting ready to buy a house this month, and... Uh, we're trying to save every last penny. Look, Harry, I don't care how much stock you pick up. I just want you to test me out. I want you to judge me on the percentages I show you. Obviously, I show you 30 or 40 percent. No matter how big or small your position is, you, you, you know, you're going to get pretty excited about my next idea, right? Yeah. Of course you would. You'd be adding out my business cards, wouldn't you? <laughs> right? Do this. Pick up 100 shares. It's the absolute firm minimum, all right? If I, if I show you three or four points on the trade, it's not going to make you rich. On the same token, if the stock doesn't go anywhere, you know, you're not out in front of your store with a cup in your hand. No, that's true. Look, Harry, the truth of the matter is, I could sell you a lot more than just 100 shares and feel completely comfortable about the trade. But I'm asking you to start small just to prove what I can do for you. All right. All right, let's try it. Great. So should I send the confirmation to your business or your home? Yeah, um, I, I need to talk to my wife. No, you don't first, need to do that, Harry. And I'll call you right back. And, uh, you know, I'm going to lunch and No, I, I need to talk to her first. Tell me, Harry, uh, you're at work right now, aren't you? Yeah. So what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a, a purchasing manager at a gourmet foods company. So does part of your job involve making decisions? Of course. And so when, you, when you're making one of these decisions, do you call your wife and ask her what you should do? Of course not, but that's a little bit but different. That's different? How's that different? It's your money. You earned it. Besides, you know, all you're doing is investing it. I'm not selling crack here, Harry. I mean, you know, she's only going to be happy when she sees that you made a wise investment for the family. Just, just think of the flip side. When your wife does the shopping, does she call you from Pathmark to find out if she can use a coupon for Captain Crunch? Now, come on, that, that's not being no, fair. No, I know. Cause... Look, Harry, Harry, I'm just trying to make a point here. Look, look, we're not talking about a lot of money here. And just think what she's going to say when you bring home a big fat check because you had the foresight to see a good thing coming. All right. Let's try it. Good man, Harry. Look, you made a great decision, all right? Hold on a second. 